sitting with David Bischoff, president of a company called Exmovere, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which has created the world's first Bluetooth wristwatch, right? That's right. So talk to me a little bit about that. Well, this is the wristwatch itself. It's called uh, Exmo Care. Exmo Care. It's actually a little bit of a big wristwatch. Um, and the reason for that is that it has an extra long Bluetooth range. It can transmit up to uh, 300 feet. And what's interesting about this wristwatch is that it doesn't just tell the time, but it also has a series of biosensors in it that enables the wristwatch to detect the heart rate uh, galvanic skin response, which is mm -hmm. like skin sweat, the so, skin temperature, and movement of the wristwatch wear all simultaneously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back you up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Just for those of you who, who may not be aware, explain uh, the basis of what Bluetooth is, just to, to get that out there. Bluetooth is a, is, is a wireless standard um, that's commonly used with cell phones and computers. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, but not wristwatches. No, not, not, <laughs> not before us, not wristwatches. Right. Um, and it, it's basically, a, there's actually an organization uh, called Bluetooth that, that, that cultivates the standard and tries to get manufacturers of various products to use it so that uh, appliances can sort of speak to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's never been a wristwatch that's participated in this, and as a result, ours is the first wristwatch that can communicate with a computer, can communicate with a cell phone, communicate with a car. And what's um, it saying? You said that it reads your sweats, your, uh, heart your, rate. your heart rate. And so what is it? Is it so if you're working out? Well, no, it's actually intended for automated home care. Okay. Uh, it's intended for people who have chronically ill conditions, which uh, makes up about 75 million Americans at the moment. Right. Uh, and that, those problems can range anywhere from obesity to epilepsy to um, you know, psychological disorders to drug addiction, mm -hmm. uh, all the way to just simple problems about related to aging. And so we thought that if we were going to use this Bluetooth technology, we should do it for something that benefits as many people as possible. So we decided that instead of just transmitting what time it is, which is not useful, right. we, would, we would transmit something about but the wear. But what o'clock if I want to know what time right, it is. Exactly. We thought we would transmit something about the human who has to wear it, something meaningful, so that when that information gets to a phone, or gets to the car, or gets to the computer, or gets to the television, or any other Wherever you device, want to send it. Wherever you want to send it, right. that it can actually do something for that person. So in the case of, let's say, a cell phone, this is a Windows Mobile 5.0 cell phone. It's a smartphone. Yeah. Smartphones. That's right. It's a it's a it's a it's a Microsoft Windows smartphone. Okay. And the way it works is the wristwatch sends the data to to my cell phone. Uh -huh. um, the cell phone, as you can see here, it's kind of it's kind of small, but it says my heart rate. It says my heart rate variability level, mm -hmm. my galvanic skin response, my skin temperature, and and my accelerometry. In other words, how much my, my wrist is moving. Oh. And that information is sent by, from my phone to um, our online server at exmocare.com. Okay. And when that information gets there, the system actually is able to. Uh, determine what the emotional state is of the user based so you, on that information. So like if I'm angry or I'm depressed, sad, would that mean my heart would be faster or what's it basing that? Well, how, well there's, there's, sensing? well actually there's, um, when you detect an emotional state, there yeah. are two types of information you're interested in. One is called, is called like arousal, that basically means, it could be sexual I guess, but, but in scientific <laughs> terms, it, it relates more to the uh, level of stress you might have, okay. or excitement you might have. It's, it's neither positive or negative. It's just a, it just means how. Agitated and that would be you are. an increased heart rate. That would maybe be like yes. You're heart, sweating exactly. Okay. Now the other thing we look at are slower forms of data. Data that doesn't change quite as quickly, and that's called valence information. Okay. okay? And that tells us about your mood, positive or negative. And, and in that case, what we're what we're looking at is something called heart rate variability. That's the change of your heart rate from beat to beat. And the greater that variability, the better your mood. Get out. Absolutely. Huh. And the same thing is true with your skin temperature. The warmer your skin, the, the better your mood. So what we do is we compare the two streams of data that we get from the wristwatch, and we compare that in the context of your movement. Like, for example, you're sitting down, or you're, you're out there doing sports, you're active. And then we're able to kind of say, oh, well, you know what? Based on your 24, because we take a long baseline from you, we mm -hmm. monitor you 24 hours a day. Wow. Based on your 24-hour baseline, we can say, hey, you know what? You're depressed. You're excited. <laughs> you're uh, you know. I'm log onto a website to tell what kind of mood I'm in. Well, you don't have. To, you may not be the one necessarily logging in. It might be your family members. Um, if you're taking a medication and your doctor's concerned about how what the effects are, the side effects. Right. Um, the system might send a text message to him based on conditions he sets on the user website. So he might say, I'd like to receive a text message if the wristwatch wearer is, is anxious for more than two hours at a time, because that means that the medication is driving. It's a great way to you know keep track of your. Friends and family. And loved ones. And, and, loved and, ones. and the, the, the goal here is that if you have someone with a chronically ill condition, you may not be able to afford to pay for a human being to monitor them 24 hours a day. It's too right. expensive. 
Right. Um, many many families are paying between one and three thousand dollars a month for a live-in nurse. Sure, to do exactly what your wristwatch is now doing for you. Exactly. And so, if you look at if you look at the case of not just elderly people but chronically ill people, in many cases they can't even sleep privately because there's a nurse monitoring them while they sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, if they could at least have the privacy and dignity of a normal human being because they have this wristwatch, right. that's of enormous value to them. And that, that, that takes the Bluetooth technology to a human level because before Bluetooth was about making machines connect. Yes. And now our wristwatch is about making humans connect. That's amazing. And so, I mean, if, my, if I wanted to watch for my grandmother something, is this available now? Can we Absolutely. buy this? If you go yeah. to exmocare.com. Exmocare.com. Yeah, go to exmocare.com. Um, you can learn more about the product. We have demos available on the website. And you can actually go ahead, order it. You can, you can customize it. And you cost it. about, the, you, you spoke about the, the cost of the, you know, living in or, you know, living in a, in a retirement home or a nursing home. What is, uh, what, what well, are we talking dollars here? Well, uh, you know, again, uh, you pay you pay an up, up, upfront hardware fee, sure. uh, which could range between seven hundred and, and twelve hundred dollars, depending on what you need. Mm -hmm. And then you pay a monthly service fee, range between eighty nine dollars and one hundred and forty dollars. And now the service fee, can anyone you can have anyone access that website? So if I wanted to have anyone my mother, it, my doctor, designate. my you know whoever whoever I want to can come in and access that website and check on absolutely how you know. Anyone you, anyone you designate as a caregiver right. uh, or, as, as, uh, or as part of your Exmo Care family. But that, those people, to be honest, most of them aren't coming to the website. What's happening is they're sending conditions by which they receive an email mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. system, they receive an instant message, or they receive a text message on their phone. Because right. a doctor doesn't have time to go to a website. He right. wants a text message that says, I want to know the heart rate, the skin temperature, the dynamic response, and I want to know which emotional state. Right, That's so it. I could be out traveling. No computer nearby. I get a little message on my phone. Absolutely, grandma's set. And, the, and you know, grandma doesn't have to be connected to the to a cable or, or to she's a. She's got to have a watch. She's got to have her watch, and she's got her little phone in her purse or somewhere in her house. Sure. Because we have an extra long Bluetooth, so as long as it's somewhere in the house. Right. Uh, the, 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 and what's it running on? Just uh, a. We we use a rechargeable CRV 123A battery. You get a, you get a kit of two, and every yeah. day you take one out and put another one in. So it, it, the battery lasts 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. And so when you wake up in the morning or you take your medicine, that's the time you change it. And the system doesn't just monitor you; it also monitors itself. So if the battery's too low, there'll be an alert process. Oh, so nice. So it's, it's little things like that that. I again, hate when my cell phone dies. It should be like it should call me and be like, "Hey, Laura, charge your phone." Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if there's a problem with your phone that's choosing to connect, it'll send an alert. Great. So it, there's many auto diagnostic features built into the system. That the whole purpose of that is to create peace of mind. And when you get your wristwatch, you don't have to pay for a cell phone plan with a phone that connects to it. We pay for all of that as part of your, your service fee. Oh. Okay. So you don't, you don't, it's not like you have to get grandma a brand new phone. We give you the phone, we give you the wristwatch, you wear it. Grandma? Actually, yeah, grandma, or, or it doesn't have to be grandma, you know, honestly. No, 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 I know, we just could, keep talking about it. Yeah, you know, grandma is someone that, you know, it's the holidays, so you love your grandma, you think about your grandma, you, yeah. wonder, you wish you could get her something, you wish you could be with her. Yeah. So that, that's why I say grandma. Well, I think this is a great product, and for those of you at home who want to learn more about it, and uh, hopefully go out and get it for your loved ones, it's Xmocare, and that's E-X-M-O-Care.com. E Com. That's right, E-X-M-O-C-A-R-E, Xmocare.com. Xmocare.com, Bluetooth, wish watch.